Alright, hello, we are live. Hey, can you, uh, can you bring me the butt cream again? Was that? No, she hasn't started the stream yet. She's she's still setting up, I think. I got time. Did no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Uh, yeah, the butt cream, you know, for my anal eczema. Yeah. Anal eczema? Yeah, yeah. You might want to get the long cuff rubber gloves this time. It's. Oof. Oh, are we starting? What? We're, we're live. Hi, everybody. None of that was real. No, sure. It's exactly what you would say if it was. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to go check what I got to do for this last level because I might need to get 15 more jiggies or I might be able to just end it on this stream, but we'll find out. Defunding the police is too extreme, says the country, which prevents high school seniors from graduating because of unpaid library fines from elementary school. Yep. Says the country, which also fires the lunch workers who try to pay off said debt for elementary school students in lunch rooms. Genuinely, what does it fucking... Well, I know what, what it matters is that they're trying to keep people poor, so if you help somebody, they're gonna get mad about it. Because if it, once they have any kind of financial stability, they're not a slave to the system anymore and can do what they want. And that's only reserved for the the, the the real people, as far as they're concerned. Every time we're forced to talk about Joe Rogan, I'm reminded of my best and most immutable axiom. Nothing that only men like is cool. True. Oh god, here's my favorite tweet of the day. Before you reply to this, please remember I don't care about you. Mm. True. Shit, there's actually like one specific move I think I need to get from another another world Where, to be able to do this. Wear a mask, you crazy virgins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, this this Evan Day Simone at Smorgas Boredom is fucking Killing me. Smorgasbordum? That's a good name. Yeah. One of my favorite names has always been uh, at Biggie S'mores. That's a solid one. Everyone replied to this like, what about Alexander the Great? As if the king of Macedonia was listening to a dumb podcast while he was conquering Persia. <laughs> Get a grip, you lonely dorks. True. I have no idea what that's a reference, why that's a reference at all. Please stop telling me your girlfriend likes Joe Rogan. Your girlfriend isn't real. True. Did you see that guy last night? A politician running for office, tweeting about a black bear wandering around a parking lot. Wait. You haven't seen this? No. What? What is this about? Um, let me find the tweet and send it to you. Because I'm gonna send you my response to the tweet because. It is my most popular tweet at this point. Right. It just got another, like, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. It's, it's only a 51, which for me is, like, fucking epic levels. Um, and only two people that I know liked it. But there's a black bear spotted in parking garage in Union Depot in St. Paul, Minnesota, Wednesday night. So it's just a bear chilling, wandering. Just chillin', wandering around, little old Just straight up chillin', dude. And Jason Lewis, running for office in Minnesota, uh, former congressman, in fact, uh, fighting pr to preserve our liberty, values, and the Constitution from those seeking to undermine them, says, but by all means, let's abolish the police. Would love to see a social worker take care of this one. I, the, the, the police you don't take care care of that that's animal control so already you're wrong and then there's my tweet which says you only want a cop involved because it's a black bear oh accurate it's not often i tweet my own horn but 
I'm shocked no one else has made that joke. <laughs> Male country singers, I like beer and trucks. Female country singers, I will not hesitate to kill any man who cheats on me. Yeah. I mean, shit, you know how fucking country guys treat women, so... I do not blame these country singers. Where is... I need to find the fucking glide move that, Ban that Kazooie can do so that I can get across there. Every year, the tough guy stand-up scene inspires a post like, You cucks think you can cancel Carmine Boom Boom DeLuca? He holds the record for most hate crimes in Jersey. His closer on the road is he kills a broad on stage. He fucked his dad on a dare. Nice try, snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> My god. And now people are mocking that fucking politician. Like, there's a picture of a baby chick on a, like, those little fingerboards. And it says, but by all means, let's abolish the police. We'd love to see a social worker take care of this one. Seriously. <laughs> and, like, people are just mocking him. And, like, one asshole thought that by calling fucking... <laughs> Animal control, that meant that they were going to take the bear to their own house and house it there. What? And said, I, you think I'm fucking with you. I saw the tweet. Let I, me find it. Why let are me people find it. stupid? Genuinely, can anyone let me know why are people stupid? Is there a need I mean, for it? Because there's money in keeping people stupid. Um, this is kind of funny. There's somebody's map that shows, like, the walking, biking, driving, bus. And then there's walking with a pride flag, which is half the time the normal walk is. So apparently gays walk faster. Nice. We gotta walk faster to get away from all the streets. Hailfire Peaks is where you learn the glide shit. But you have to, like, you know, in order to gay walk, you have to, like, put uh, experience points towards walking. Right? That's not. That one doesn't just happen by accident. You got a spec for that. Exactly. So, apparently, there's also a, 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 a software development company that has given. The world is something that it doesn't need. Mm -hmm. You take a mosaiced out image of a face, feed it to this program, and it gives a pretty de apparently pretty decent uh, guess of who it is inside. Wow. That's fucked up. Why would we ever need that? So it took Barack Obama's pixelated face and gave us a white software developer looking motherfucker. Mm. Of course it only gives us white people. One over two says, the USA has an answer. Don't know about the stupid people elsewhere, though. <laughs> I mean, stupidity isn't, like, nation-specific, but it does help. Mm. You know, sometimes I think... Sometimes I think maybe I'm straight. I see a girl, and I'm like, oh my god, gorgeous, and I see a hot guy, and I'm like, man, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just fucking, you know, just, what am I, what mm. am I, really? Truth. Like, oh, I'm straight, no, there's a good looking guy, I'm gay, then, oh, look, there's a hot girl, bye, then a hot envy, I'm like, nope, I just like people. They're all wonderful. Fucker, how do I find... I, like, have to have this move to finish the game. So, where the fuck is it? Walk through? God damn it. Where is that, though? Tell me! Moves, here we go. 
Alright. Gotta go to the Icicle Grotto. I am bothered by this. Um, so, how was your day? I have had the strangely busiest day. For, like, when I went to bed last night, I had no plans for today. Those plans immediately changed upon waking up. <laughs> right. I went to pick up lunch. I wound up getting a free milkshake because it was free milkshake day. Oh, nice. I gave it to Maddie. Uh, that's sugar. I got home and my ice malt had arrived. I was like, hell to the yeah, and I checked, like, the kitchen, because we're staying with my in-laws for now, and all our stuff is in storage. Right. So I was like, hell yeah to the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get my candy molds that I know I had here at one point, and I'm going to make some candy, ice mold. And, nope, my molds were all in storage, so I was like, Oof. fuck, fuck digging through all the boxes to find it. Oh, I'm yeah, just fuck that. Michael's. There's a Michael's, you know, just around the corner from us. Mm. I'm gonna go buy a new one. Which means when I bring candy to you on Tuesday, you get a choice. You can... Because the mold has unicorn heads, which I'm sure is your choice. Maybe. Mermaids. Mermaids. Mm. Or rainbows. Yeah, I do enjoy a, a gay candy. Might be... Might it be is the gayest the, candy because it's sugar-free. So we can't go with the gayest candy. Mm. We can make it. Yeah, if Cory was here, he would insist on some unicorn. uh, unicorns, but I'm I'm well, saying yeah. rainbow. Technically, Cory couldn't have any of this candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh reverse diabetic. He has to have real sugar if anybody's listening. Yeah. But he, he's uh. Uh, he can't have the, the, the isomalt is the problem here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with his fucking, like, digestion, I would not be shocked. Uh, there, yeah. there is nothing you can cook for the guy. Like, I'm the one who cooks the most here, and it is so difficult to f figure out what recipes he'll actually be able to eat. Avoid anything acidic, basically. That would make it work, so... That's no part of it, but like, ha like the majority of vegetables he cannot eat. Damn. Yeah. So like finding oh, vegetables that. I you. I was damning it. Uh... I could tell they were European from that picture. Shit. <sighs> Just did all that work. I jumped immediately off the cliff. Nope. 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 I don't need to be him. No, I need to be Kazooie! God damn it. There we go. This is the is shit that, that really blew my mind. Is that what a furry LGBT couple sounds like? Damn it, I need to be Kazooie! True. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, god damn it. Going up to gay couples like which one of you is the banjo and which one's the Kazooie? <laughs> That's actually a. Uh, shit. That's actually true, because they're more like a gay couple than any other duo. Kazooie is real sassy. Banjo is dumb, but a very bear. lovable himbo. Banjo is literally a bear! He's literally a bear, but more importantly, he's a himbo. Uh, I'm a polar bear. Aren't... You've been in my apartment, you know that joke is spot on. Mm, yeah. Keep it, you keep it, I would almost say too cold. So we found out hmm? that it might, that I need to go get tested for it, but it might be a thyroid thing with me. Oh. Um, Ew. because people with thyroid issues can have a problem where they are, so like, if I get hot, I immediately get extremely drowsy. Right. And like, can't, and I, get, I can't breathe. It's hard to, like, do anything. Mm. So, it's 
problematic for me to get like very very hot anything okay. above like 68 is too much for me oh wow yeah so it, it you, li you lived in the south so that's what shit, in shit Georgia. Like yeah almost so, the deepest south you can really be in the u.s i mean you can get deeper but you just don't want to oh goodness no I mean, it's not Swampland where we... Well, there is actually Swampland where we live, but... You know, it's not... Louisiana where you gotta go out there and get them gators, mate. They gon' they gon' make get out there, mate. Get up there. Boom, 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 boom. So, I mean, it's not that bad, at least, but... It, it's bad enough that... You don't wanna... Like, have it. Oh, certainly. I mean, yeah, we, it, this place, like, uh, last year, or actually I think the year before, our AC went out for a couple weeks in, like, August. This place was fucking unlivable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our AC went out every single spring in that Ooh. apartment. And oh, I would no. call them every year and say, either repair it or replace it, because this happens every year yeah that's... every year they would fucking send out a guy who would say oh we're just gonna uh, we figured it's just this one part so we're just gonna pass that and refill it like, no it's clearly something else and then invariably i would say it'll be broken in a week and mm -hmm. uh, sure enough it would be broken again in a week and i said can you please put a working in here? Mm -hmm. And they never did, like, they never replaced the damn thing. <sighs> of course. It was ungodly. Like, it really was infuriating. Landlords will fight tooth and nail to try and make it seem like they are useful, but then they pull that shit constantly and it's like why do we even need you what are you what are you doing that means that you deserve the money that we're giving you if you can't even fucking repair a thing so um there's a a dessert at red robin called a chocolate fruffle Ruffle. it is a it's essentially a chilled Dark chocolate dipped fudge brownie with French sea salt, sugar crystals, and berry sauce. Wow, that's uh. Very sounds a little fancier. Yeah, very rich, rich for sure. Uh, the berry sauce was better. Like, it was a lot less. uh. pow, right in the kiss room, you know? Yeah. Uh. So. We ordered one, and uh, uh, it was a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, it was okay. Like, I wouldn't order it again. Right. But, I've had worse. Sure. Um, trying to find the, like, it was a cracked thing that talked about the thyroids. I'm trying to find that. Hmm. And, like, because it's one of their picked effect things, it's not oh, like you guys yeah. search it very easily. And they've been doing a lot of those lately. Probably because everybody's stuck at home. Right. But... <sighs> so how are you feeling about, uh... While I look for that, how are you feeling about that rally being barely, like, open at all? Like, just no one showing up. I mean, I'm not shocked. The thing is, while there are a lot of fucking idiots who, um, who think that that would be even remotely a good idea right now, there aren't enough who can afford to get there. Like, genuinely. There is one problem, though. There's enough to be a problem. Oh, like, absolutely. Because that is, uh, a lot of people in one space getting sick together yeah and they're gonna spread it to more yeah uh so here's the thing 
Booze can make you black out, but it can boost your subconscious memory. The more dopamine in your body, the more receptive you become to learning. So that's an important detail to remember. The more dopamine in your body, the better you are at learning. And remembering everything around you. Hmm. Okay? Sure. So... Winter causes seasonal depression. Of course. This could, but so can summer. Hmm. This is or this could be cause, be because heat suppresses the thyroid hormone, which results in a severe energy drain. High okay. temperatures can also stimulate a hormone called prolactin, which can block the effects of dopamine. So that is exactly like I have a piss poor memory. And I can't, uh, I just fall asleep if it gets too hot. Yeah. And so, like, I need to get tested, but God, does that not sound like, you've known me for a couple of years now. Does that not sound like me? Oh, for certain. What's your name again? Hello? Hi. What, what is this in front of me? Is this a, a microphone? <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, the guy who hosted Dirty Jobs tried to get his own, like, phone line at one point. Microphones. <laughs> There's a, uh, play on a Game Grumps joke where they talked about his penis being a micro penis. Mm. At any size it would be. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm being quickly distracted by fed life and... Fed life is extremely hetero, but... Oh, that's cruel. It's a plate that's like, kind of a bold plate. Mm -hmm. With a print of french fries filling it. Uh... And somebody shared it with a comment, Never been this disappointed in my life. True. Miss oh, French man. fries. <sighs> can't do them anymore. My face can't handle it. Yellow tree dicks. I'll never call them bananas again. Mm. Uh, God. Uh. Oh shit! I can't wait. So something that always confuses me is how do people get like gray beard hair at the tip of their beard, but dark at the root? Yeah, that's a good question. I always get confused when I see that. I don't know. I well, that's the thing is that the idea of hair that's only partially gray. I don't really get how that works. Although I also don't really fully Think understand why your hair goes hair. gray. So, if their hair is only, like, gray at one point in the beard or hair, or, or in the, the head hair, think about it like when you dye your hair and the roots start to grow out. Sure. It's like that, so... Well, I mean, like, sometimes you'll see hair that's, like, intermittently gray. There's, like, gray at the tip, then some color, then gray again. Yeah, I don't get that either. Maybe the tip grays as it gets older and the root is younger? Says one over two. That's plausible. I could see that being a thing. Also, I found like recently I found I just I, I like so, like offbeat features in people like I find large noses attractive. Like a girl with a big nose, fucking love it. I I don't know why. Not, yeah, you know, thought, well, that's, you know, one thing that I'm attracted to, but it's, you know, I, I, that's the one, like, the one, like, offbeat thing. Then I saw a girl who was cross-eyed, and I was like, oh, well, apparently I like that, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I liked cross-eyed girls or girls with big noses, but it, it doesn't work on guys. Like, I'm not attracted to the same thing on guys, and uh, I find that weird. It, it, 
it's the girls only. All right, we're getting into the first round of the end, which is once again a uh, a quiz. Oh, goody. Yeah, and then I think after that, to get to the end, I might need to get another 15 jiggies, but we'll we'll see. I downloaded a bunch of new games that I had in my library that I've just not played yet. Oh, I know how that's like. I have like 400 games on Steam because I keep doing the Humble Bundles. Oh, no, no, no. My biggest match is on Twitch. After my PlayStation, because I've got PS Plus. Mm. So whenever there are free games, I just snatch them. I've got a web browser, the Opera uh, Gamer browser. Oh, I forget the name of it, but mm -hmm. it's got a permanent tab that just lists all the free games on all the services right now. So right now there's Pathway on Epic, uh, Onyx Clad on whatever that is, uh, Don't Starve Together on Steam. Dead by Daylight is free for the weekend, so is Don't Start Together. So, like, some are free over the weekend, uh, some are demos, some are free to play in general. Uh, and it just, like, calling for, you know, collects all the things together. Oh, and I found out why, uh, res Exposed Wrestling got taken down. Hmm. Um, apparently they were, they were pushing their own agenda. Oh. Like they were not they were not an ally. Uh so while and like worse accusations have come out for the one person that uh AEW has said anything about going to rehab. Mm -hmm. Um worse accusations have come out that I didn't see about him. But that being the case, they should have just fired him outright and then, you know, not rehired him personally, but uh, there is a reputable person who is curating all the tweets and all the stories and all the DMs, and that is Leanne Marie Rest. That's L E A N N E M A R I E W R E S on Twitter. Who is getting all of this together and say, yeah. Yeah. So, you can find the information. It's just apparently More one difficult. of the people. Yeah, it was just that the one person wound up being shit. So, that sucks. A lot. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, one of my favorite models on Fat Life just tweeted something or posted something that, uh. Whew. Oh, so yes. spicy. Oh, God. Just, hello, I need a face to sit on, that is all. I'm like. Pick me, pick me! Oh man, I, the, the adaptive like uh, difficulty on this is really interesting. Like the higher you get, the other AI like rubber bands perfectly to actually make it hard. I thought you meant like the higher you get, mm. <laughs> the harder the kick is. I'm like yeah, a lot of games are like that. Listen. Here's a good one. Uh, you know what, I'll have to screenshot this, because how felt life works. Um, this one's pretty good. I'd like to think I'm not this bad, at least. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, I kind of, more often than not, prefer to use, you know, like, yeah, I, you know, you know, you, you know, like, right, you know. I know, I think. You know. I mean, sure. if you know, you know. When you know, you know. You, when you, you know, know, you may know. But when you don't know, you may not know. And if you don't, if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know. What do you I don't know? know? 
You don't know what you don't know you don't know. You know? And that and knowing it's half the battle. Man, this is this takes a lot more focus than I uh than I expected. <laughs> And me pulling that you know shit ain't helping out. Really not, yeah. And I'm also kind of tired, so like... Uh, oh my god, I wonder if I can use Dr. Pepper to make candy. Ooh. Dude, I had a Dr. Pepper shake the other day. It was interesting. What a burger has that. Arby's has... Arby's has clothes now. By the way, do you... We don't have a checkers here, no. Damn, okay. We got most stuff. Well, there's not one here, mm -hmm. but there is one in Savannah. Right. So my plan is to stop in Savannah for lunch, and then stop in Savannah for dinner <laughs> mm -hmm. on the way there and back. Fair and enough. I'm going to have checkers for one, and... BD burger for the other. Oh, one doesn't know what Checkers is. Uh, it might be called Rallies where you're at, or it, it just yeah. might not be around. Um, Checkers Rallies is a fucking amazing place with... I mean, you're gonna get the shits, but it's worth... It's really worth getting the shits, okay? It's so tasty that you don't care. Yeah, like it, they got about... these these seasoned fries that are really nice. Like, oh, the fries are pretty much their, their main they're thing. They're battered before they're fried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine if Five Guys fries were actually, like, crispy and, like, oh. delicious. And they have a side dish simply called the Monsterella stick, which is just a fucking seasoned, delicious mozzarella stick. Mm. Uh, Rally's, yeah, Rally's is just another name for Checkers. It's kind of like how there's Hardee's and, and Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr., yeah. Yeah. They're considered which, separate places. Which is because Carl's Jr. bought, or Carl Jr.'s or whatever, fucking bought Hardee's. Mm. Hardee's used to be a kind of not quite southern. Five Guys is okay. I don't dislike yeah. Five Guys. It's just the fries are a little soggy, the burger is just kind of underwhelming okay. for how much it costs. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the bacon at Five Guys is amazing, though. They do the bacon really well. Yeah. Um, do you know what they... Like, they have a test for the bacon. Did you know that? Really? They cook it until it uh, passes a shatter test, where you pick it up a certain height off the counter drop it, and it has to shatter into at least three pieces. Mmm. Yep. And it's, I'm like, it's crispy. Yeah. Personally, I don't care about that, because I can't have red meat. I'm going to break the rules with checkers, but um, yeah. For me, it's a case of checkers is so good that it's worth detouring through Savannah. I'm also going to stop at the uh, CBD shop that I like that mm. grab some yeah. stuff. They've Shit. got... Oh no, I might fuck this up. They've got some roll, empty rolls that I want to try next time I get some perfectly legal CBD weed. Mm. Um... Did you see the Dan Housen tweet today? No, uh, what did he say? So Kylie Ray started it. Saying, uh, in the midst of everything starting to open up possibly, who would y'all like to see me defend this freelance world championship against in the future? Hmm. And so she's the freelance champion. And Dan Housen retweeted with a picture of him wearing the flower wreath around his head. Kylie Ray replied with, uh, please. I would love to see Dan Housen versus Smiley Kylie Ray. Oh, that would be amazing. God, this is an impressive, like, gif of a guy pinning another guy at an outdoor wrestling event. Hmm. It is surprisingly good. I'm sending it to the group. 
Uh, oh yeah, this skin. includes questions that wouldn't have been in the original game, I guess. Uh, we ordered from a Thai place tonight, by the way. Oh? Do you know what one of the dishes they had for dessert is? Thank you. Tempura Oreos. They're fried in tempura batter. That's pretty good. What kind of mm. topping does it have? Mm. Oh my fucking god. Does it have a topping? Tempura batter. Not like a top, like a drizzle of any kind of business? No. 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 I'm just now eating one. Holy shit. You know who the best burger place around here is? Hmm. There's two. There's three, but uh, there's two. There's Culver's. Okay. Which is a, it's a bit of a drive out of the way, but good. And then there's Wayback Burger. And holy shit, Wayback. Like, Shake Shack is good. I like Shake Shack. Um... Little Big Burger is good, they're fine, but mm, Wayback and Culver's are fucking amazing. Okay. I did it. I beat the, the quiz. I, I keep like, tilting my head to try and look around the phone. I need to stop that. It hurts my neck over time. What's Soren Bowie do? Talking about that guy wanting the police to take care of a bear. Hmm, yeah. Saying, LOL, I used to be a bellboy at a resort and chase black bears out of people's hot tubs. Fucking to find the police to stop being so scared of nature. Yep. Stop being scared in general. More than anything, we've been seeing the truth, which is that police are paranoid and terrified of everything. Which, considering statistically, they are their job is safer than fishermen's jobs. Yeah. It's pretty disappointing. I I figure like you wouldn't sign up if you didn't recognize the danger that's gonna be brought on you. Yeah. My family you smell like weed. That's because y'all not social distancing. Mm-hmm. White Castle is pretty disappointing. I've only ever had White Castle frozen food from, like, the grocery store. I mean, it's basically just a dinner roll, a tiny little patty of meat, and a bunch of onions. It's a slider. And sliders, when well made, are fantastic. Yeah. The thing, so here's an interesting thing about a real slider. The meat never touches the grill. Mm-hmm. It's cooked entirely by onion steam. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not, they don't really have like a, a crispness to them, but they got that, that soft, just bursting flavor to them. Yep. Also cooked by onion steam? Apparently every middle school locker room I've ever been in. Mm-hmm. Because they all smell like onions. Oh, yeah. I mean... I would say the non-California In-N-Out would be more Five Guys. Honestly, when I had In-N-Out, I uh, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, the state of Tennessee has banned abortion. I heard that. They put in a heartbeat bill. It won't stand very well. No, certainly not. Um, absolutely cannot wait to read the chapter about K-pop stands impact in a 2020 section of my future children's textbooks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope they're still able to keep on top of that because apparently the uh, uh, K-pop star died recently. A mannequin dressed in a police uniform wearing a pig mask was found hanging from an I-95 overpass in Jacksonville Saturday morning in what the sheriff describes as a mock lynching. Damn, that's wild about the mannequin. They found five actual black people lynched over the last two fucking weeks. How about yep. be more concerned about them, you fucking pieces of fucking shit? Seriously. You can take the badge off at the end of the day. They can't take their skin off. Yep, and they're deeming them suicide, because, yeah, that's that's how someone someone of color will kill themselves. 
Fuck you. You know. And when I want to kill myself as a German Irishman, what I'll do is go get a British gun and shoot myself from a distance with it. Five and then guys. I'll get... Five Guys locations are in California, but uh, it's originally a Florida chain. Yeah. Um. I just. Me? It, most of the places that are like, oh, this is the best place in this area are always disappointing to me. Like, up in Seattle, it's Dick's, which is basically like In N Out. Um, but so wait, the, the best you, place is never a chain, hold on, it's hold always. On. Hmm. You like your Dick's In N Out? Is this what you said? Oh, no, well, when you go to Seattle, you gotta get a bag of dicks. So that you can go in and out with it. You gotta get a big old bag of dicks, uh -huh. slop them in your mouth, get some of that, that creamy, creamy shake next to them. Mm. You gotta shake the cream out, right? Yeah. I'd so say, anyway. the thing is, anytime I've had an actually good burger, it's always been from a place that has one location, is specifically like making all their shit to order and like like the best burger i've ever had was at a bar in seattle called um um loretta's in south park it's an, it's just a simple cheeseburger just burger cheese a little bit of mayo to like to have a fat protection but it's just it's fucking delicious it's the best burger i've ever had you know what the best burger uh I've had in a while is hmm. Wayback Burger order the cheesy. It's spelled with four E's. Mm. How much cheese it's, is on it? So it's basically a grilled cheese burger. Mmm. Okay. Like, like a patty melt. No. No? No. Describe so this. Pictures, Describe this construction, pictures. Andrew. How do they construct the burger? So, burger, or inside out hamburger bun. Mm -hmm. Burger patty. Cheese. Nice. Burger patty. Cheese. Fucking grilled on the fucking griddle. Oh. To make it crispy edges, 360 degrees of crunch. Oh, yeah. Wayback patties are, I don't know how to describe them, hmm. but they are the best tasting, after Culver's, the best tasting burger patty in the world I have ever had. Hmm. Culver's is the best. This is the second best, but goddamn. Bronx residents say they discovered multiple nooses hanging from trees in Van Cortlandt Park on Thursday night. The NYPD declined to open an investigation, saying the knots were left over in Yada Street. Fuck they can't. Off. They can't make their position any clearer. They're literally screaming it at this point. Yeah, no, they do not care. Obviously, they don't because the fucking Venn diagram of KKK and cops is a fucking circle. Somebody shared a uh, soul foodie. Spelled S O U L P H O O D I E. Great Twitter feed, by the way. Hmm. Shared a picture of properly made baked mac and cheese. Oh. And it's titled Juneteenth. Then it shows some craft mac and cheese titled Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. uh, Soul Foodie is a good one for everybody to follow. Uh, I need I to make a big old batch of like proper baked mac and cheese. It's been a while. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say something that's gonna, um, offend a lot of people. Okay. I don't like baked macaroni and cheese because no. it's never, it's fucking Italian soup or cereal. It's never properly made. You meet mm. one person in your life who makes it the right way and you hate them because they're awful, but they make mac and cheese right. So here's what they, they do they always put, like, they half ass cut the pasta. Like, they never. Fully, it's always like not even al dente part. It's like crunchy, and then they like. And my sauce is this, and it's just fucking milk and pepper, like fresh pepper, sure. Mm -hmm. But it's just milk, and then they dump that in, and they sprinkle the top with cheese. That's not mac and cheese, goddamn it. No, that is not. That's that not is, the way to do it. 
You fucking, you make a fucking roux. You make a cheese gravy. You fucking no, get no, those no, 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 no. those fucking macaroni cooked right. If you're gonna call it, what did it, just say the right words. It's a bechamel. It's a bechamel, bechamel sauce. with cheese, fine. Yes, you make a bechamel, <laughs> you add cheese, you stir that shit into overcooked pasta. You want that pasta to be squishy in your fingers. You cook it until it is done. And then you add the bechamel. Then you top that with breadcrumbs and put that in the oven. Breadcrumbs and melted butter so that it's gonna it's gonna cook in the oven and actually crisp up. And then you bake that. If you're the kind who has to bake it. I don't do that. I just do the bechamel and eat it like a normal goddamn person. No, no, no. See, you add, you add an egg. You temper an egg into that bechamel, and when you bake it, the next day it's solid enough that you can deep bread and deep fry slabs of it, and that shit is uh, amazing. I don't like that. Oh, I've it's had so it. good. It's not, I don't. Like, I just want my gooey mac and cheese that doesn't taste like fucking dirt. Like. Uh, Somebody set fire to a confederate flag and it just shrunk in like a shrinky ink. Yeah, you think they're using <laughs> actual fabric in those? It's metal. It, or plastic. <laughs> it's like a fucking shrinky ink. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, I can make a, a good ass baked mac and cheese. She's 17 and she should know better. No, he's a 20 something year old grown ass man. He should know better. Yeah. That's a good tweet. Tonight's show is just gonna be me finding really good tweets and acting like I said them. <laughs> I mean, shit, that's most shows. They're now cheering the president's ability to drink a glass of water. What? At the thing. I guarantee you, he got tired of people making fun of how he drinks water from a cup and decided to prove he could do it normally. Wait, how I... does he drink water from a cup? You've never seen this? No. It's fucking... He drinks it like a toddler. Like, he'll get it in one hand and get it up to his mouth and then can't do it, so he has to drink it with two hands. Every time... You've never seen Trump drink water from a cup? Oh my god. I do my best to not look at the guy if I can. Trump drinking water. I mean, the guy's 74. Obviously, he's gonna drink it like a fucking geriatric, because he is one. All right, he, he, he just struggles with water. Like, he always struggles. I'm gonna uh, share the tweet or share a YouTube video in the group. Okay. Just, tr just trust me when I say he can't drink water. Okay. And like, if you ever see clips of him drinking water, it's the same every single time. Okay. Let's see. He's... So uh, I'm watching I'm now. He's, he's yeah. talking. I have so the sound off. So. Yep, he's, like, he's doing his talking thing. It's at the 24 second mark. Okay, he bent down. Nope. What, what's he up to? Oh, there we go. Okay, he's he's got it. Looks normal right now. Oh my god. Like, and yeah, he another... like, he like, to recreate, a he like... He like... He like puckers his lips before it gets to him. Why does he do that? He puckers his lips like all the fucking time. I sent another video. He he does it every clip of him drinking water. Why is see? he like this? Why is what alien man No, no! This is fucking have you seen the movie Society from the 80s? It, no. It's a movie, it's a horror movie, and it's about um, revealing that the rich and the people in power are actively another species from us that have been manipulating us for all of, like, existence. And, like, that shit's proof, like, that shit right there is, like, proof that that's fucking true. They're not fucking rich, the rich and the powerful are not people. They, they've stopped being people a long time ago. 
careful with that. Listen, I'm not uh, saying like it, lizard people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying there's like racist roots. Racism ruins like a lot of stuff. Like ancient aliens, racist. Um, goddamn, so many things you think of, like the Nazi thing. Well, I mean, obviously, but like the a, the uh, Nazi alien stuff has its roots in the same kind of racism as ancient aliens. And yeah, like, I mean, ancient aliens is the assumption that Egyptian people could not come up with the pyramids. Right. And only it's... white people or alien... And, like, white people point at uh, the fucking Stonehenge, which is the shittiest monument of the era. Like, like the ancient monuments. Oh, we got Stonehenge. That clearly could be made at that time by, you know, white people. No way that not white people made something better earlier. Like, now that's about right. It's, I mean, okay, so society is effectively the reptilians thing, but, um, it's, it, it's a metaphor. It's not meant to be taken literally in the way that, um, in the, in the way that reptilians is. It's entertaining. It's a really s scary movie. Uh, Trump is apparently having a fucking meltdown. I mean, what else uh, does he do? He's blaming protesters for keeping the crowds out of his rally. Uh-huh. I'm and, sure. Like, that rally is fucking just abysmally empty for the most part. God damn it. Yep, I need 15 more jiggies to get to the final boss fight. Well... Back to the grind. Oh, what am I doing? I can just use the... <laughs> what the fuck? What's up? Trump's just wandering around on stage now in this one clip. <laughs> I got smaller than expected crowd. No shit, he lied about how big it was. But yeah, um, with a the- A bunch of women just heard that went, no shit. With society, it is, it's more like they live than anything. So, but like, um, a little more overt about it being the rich and powerful and not necessarily like an invading alien race. It, it's hard to describe, but I'd say it's worth watching at least once. It's, it's pretty entertaining. I've seen Stonehenge included in ancient alien conspiracy theories, but it's not often. Not super it's often, no. Not really. Like, there will be a handful, but that's the, like, person who actually believes the alien conspiracy theories, and not the, like, Von Daniken shit. I am going to take a quick uh, break. I'll leave the mic on so that Andrew can continue to entertain y'all. The RV. Alright. Uh, Trump has blamed walking three blocks, the sun, saluting, and a number of other things for why he was unable to walk down a ramp. <laughs> oh my god. The world is... So he blamed... Walking three blocks, saluting the sun, his shoes, making a speech, and the ramp itself for why he couldn't walk down a ramp. Uh, uh let's see. You just gotta, you know. I mean, it's important to note that he would rather talk about, you know, why he can't walk down a ramp instead of a pandemic. Depression era unemployment and you know all the other horrible things going on Extreme gore, okay uh, Man, they're just, just ripping Trump apart tonight like he looks like a fucking fool. I mean more so than usual, but all right, I'm back. Damn it. Oh, that's right. I I should have mentioned that society does have quite a bit of uh, gore in it, but mostly mostly towards the end. It, it has some serious body horror stuff that happens. <laughs> yes. Trump, 
Chop is drinking from the glass, one-handed now to prove he can. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It is... It is... Awful. Well, the reason people end up reporting on stuff like that is because... We want to have anything that we can make fun of the guy for because, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to no, deal with because... just the politics of him. Because obviously, no, he's no, no, a political it's not sludge pool. It's not that. Hmm. It's that he refuses to admit any kind of fault whatsoever. That's he true. Denies, he denies that he is infallible. Like, I can do no wrong. I, I have the best brain, the greatest memory of all time. This is shit he says about himself all the time. So when he is shown to be a fucking liar, and he's shown to be a fucking piece of shit, and he can't even fucking drink from a cup, but he's got the best brain of all time, and he should have been a doctor instead of a, poly a real estate guy. Yeah, he should have got it. My uncle was at Harvard, and he is the smartest man at MIT. Blah, blah, blah. And then he can't even drink from a fucking cup. It's a perfect summation of everything and about you, the guy. If you actually look at the, the traditional media, like they, they do report on the public badness just as much. It's just that things on Twitter that get reported more are on all the silly shit because that's easier to make viral. That's easier to like show in a tweet, but something like, I don't know, the fact that the Mueller report might get reopened considering they had to they unredacted a bunch of stuff and it showed even more nonsense. Like, that yeah. is harder to express in a, a quick tweet. Nickelback is short for Pumper Nickelback. Hmm. You wanna, do you know the story behind their name? It's the dumbest shit ever. Chad Kroger thought it sounded cool. Basically, um, but it's... His cousin, Chad Kroger's cousin, worked at an ice cream place and they sold ice cream for 20 cents on this special and so when you gave them a quarter you'd get a nickel back that's it that's the whole thing you know it makes that old joke about what concert costs 45 cents mm -hmm. 50 cent featuring nickelback it it's, makes that it's like good. a lot, but now in that context, it's a lot less good. Yeah. Like it's a lot, two, it's two on the nose now. Right. Uh, oh no! Oh, not coffee. It's the amount of change from coffee. Right now. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, so, did you see the woman who's? So a woman named Trisha Dyer posted, So my husband, the mayor of Virginia Beach, is having an affair with a little 20-year-old girl that works at Park Lane in Virginia Beach. Oh. Hope they have a wonderful life together. Um, sure. 20-year-old girl, the mayor of Virginia Beach, is 70. Ooh. What can you even do with someone that much younger than yourself? Right? Like, and you gotta be at a point. Like... Yeah. You know it's not, like, emotional, right? Like, she knows he's only in it for the ass, and he knows she's only in it for the money. Like, they're not sitting there like, he's my soulmate. And, like, I'm not here to, like, cast aspersions on the age gaps and relationships, because, you know, I've dated, uh, my, my girlfriend now is younger than me by a few years. She's, uh... Yeah, but at a certain point, like, yeah. the, the active, like, difference in a life experience does factor in. Yeah, my girlfriend is five years old. Yeah, five uh, isn't, doesn't matter as much, but if it's over, like, right. a decade, it starts becoming, like, right. an issue. Like, I'm 33, and next month. I would not date anybody ten years younger than me. I've, I've discussed this before, because my son is exactly 20 years younger than me, mm. plus a month. Right. So, I was 20 the day he was born. So if you're younger than 10 years younger than me, you are closer in age to my kid than you are to me. Right. That's, and so, and it's pretty much the same with my mom. She was 21 when I was born. Right. So if you're more than 10 years older than me, you're, you've got more in common with my mom, or you're closer in age to my mom than you are to me. And I'm not interested in that. Like, not in a 
relationship kind of way. Like, not, not, I mean, a one night stand, sure, yeah. But not in a relationship. Because, like, and but in a 50 year age gap, no one, 50, like, I'm not even that old yet. I couldn't imagine dating a kid that's just been born yesterday. Like, yeah. no. I, no. No, 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 no. I could, like, if I waited till I was 50, that kid would be 20. Like, no. No. Mm -hmm. Let alone 70. Like, I, no, how, how do you look at a 20 year old at 70 and think, when you were born, I was 50. I was yeah. half a century old at your date of birth. God damn. I no. can't, I cannot understand that mentality. Is, like, and I get, again, if I'm 70 years old and a 20 year old wants a one night stand with me, absolutely I'll do that. But a relationship, <laughs> an ongoing thing, no. I just, what, what do you talk about? You know who creeps me out? People who date people their kids age. Like, yeah, full grown or adults. Younger. Like, if you're a full grown adult and you're dating, you know, some, your kid's 23 and you're dating a 20 year old. No! Mm -hmm. No! When we were in high school, there was a guy uh, who was, had a relationship with a 30 year old woman. He was 14 or 15 years old. 40 years old. He was seeing this woman. And, like, he bragged about, like, yeah. Like, dude, that is not okay. And not okay at all. Like, not even a little bit okay. No. That is grody. Why would you even want that? On, on either, I just, what kind of a relationship can that be? Like, I'm thinking of as an difference. adult. I'm like an adult right now. I'm 33 years old. Not even as old. Like, I couldn't imagine dating. Like, I literally can't imagine dating anyone younger than 22, so. Mm -hmm. Imagine, like, waiting another seven years of our lives and then dating at high school. Yeah. No! No! Not just no, but hell no! Mm -hmm. Like, Capital H, visible from space, hell no. Yeah. Like, when you start comedy, they tell you watch the greats be like they are chaplain Woody. They should have been clear, they meant the comedy, not the fucking 15 year olds. Ooh. <laughs> Christopher Titus. Well played, my man. I'm yeah. the kind of vamp. So, uh, Jennifer Uncle, who is a podcaster, I like. I'm the kind of vampire who loudly sips blood from a slurpy cup while introducing myself. Nice. <laughs> I love how you can see a tweet and immediately know who they're talking about with no context. 100% positive he's the actual Antichrist. There it is. Overheard on Fox News. There is a culture war going on in America right now. We are seeing a record number of cancellations. I can't handle this. Like, the world is too stupid to be real. I... Do you? Trump is still arguing that by finding more people... Like, by testing... You get more cases. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how fucking statistics work and numbers, but, like, that's not... That doesn't mean that they aren't there to... All you're doing is find the ones that are already there, which is important to know so that we know when we're doing better. And, I'm like, the scary thing is he's saying this at the rally, and they're agreeing, like, nodding, like, yeah. Yeah, but that's... No, that doesn't... That's not a good or bad thing. That's a neutral thing that happens when you keep track of shit. Somebody, I don't get this reference, but everyone's agreeing and laughing, so I assume it's accurate. Uh, this is like Robert Durst's confession in the last episode of The Jinx. Mm, I don't know what that is. That. 
I don't know what that is or who that is, so... Uh, Robert Durst. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. I'm not an expert, but I think there's an 87% chance Brad Parscale loses his job within a week. Who? Trump's campaign manager. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you hear that Karl Rove is working with him right now? As, like, a consultant? Every, every time I think of Karl Rove, I think of the American dad. Bit. Yeah, same. As I read the news, I was like... Where like, does your food go? <laughs> that, without a doubt, is the best. Just American how he looks dad. like... Well, well, that's the first episode. <laughs> Is that the first episode? That's the, that's the pilot. Really? Yeah. The church election for, mm -hmm. like... I just love how know. every time they say his name, there's a, a wolf howling, a, a <gasps> boom of thunder, and... Like Frau Puka. <laughs> and fuck, he just looks like Palpatine. I, I like Frau Puka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like living with a 75-year-old parent. Me. Getting something out of recovery. Him watches me intensely. Me, what do you want? Him, I was gonna do something, but I forgot what that was, so I'm just watching you instead. Uh, oh yeah. god. Uh, wait, shit. I gotta go over to the. Thing. William Shakespeare. How chance the king comes with so small a number? <laughs> Oh, did you see the, the guy who, like, he's a right-wing, hard right-wing, like, gay guy who was complaining about Juneteenth today? Yes. Yeah, and he was saying some racist shit. And then, like, somebody found some old tweets of his saying, I've never met a white racist, but I've slept with plenty of black and Mexican racists. Funny yeah, how sure. that works. I'm like, yeah, funny how that works. You're the racist. Yeah. And no, they weren't. Just because they called you out on your racism. Yup. Just because they pointed out that, uh... It's just such a lack of education. Because the education in this country isn't focused on teaching people stuff that actually matters to be good to other people. As always, it's teaching you how to get your shitty factory job to build stuff for the rich. And then it's, it teaches you shit like Ayn Rand which is designed to make you feel bad for wanting more from the rich people who can definitely afford it. Also, people are- Motherfucker! People are trying to compare the dislike for The Last of Us 2 to Gamergate, because they claim it's because of the story, but really it's because they can't handle diversity in the medium they define their lives by. Like, yeah. no, I didn't like the first one, like, first of all. I know, I know, sure. I know. Well, a lot of the I, backlash against too, it. Too. It, it bugs me too. The thing I is, I feel horrible. For <laughs> but like, I didn't like the first one because I play video games very slowly. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't take my time with them. I just kind of struggle sometimes. I beat that game in six hours. Yeah. And I had bought it the day it came out. Well, it is a narrative, like, experience more than anything. It's it's meant to feel more cinematic than anything. Right. And... I think, well, the, the problem is that the backlash against the second one is from people who love the first one and are mad that the new one has gay people in it. I've heard more that the, a, a lot from the trans community that are mad at it because of how they handle the one trans character in it. Oh, I and didn't even know there was a trans character in it. They did name the trans character and refer to the trans character by uh, masculine pronouns when the character is a woman. That's infuriating. Why do they need to do that? In a video game, like, just move. And that's why I'm doubly not playing it. Yeah, and that no, was in the I... trailer, apparently. And people are like, it's the bad guys that are doing that, not the main character. Yeah, but it's still Don't the writers who decided to do it. Yeah. Like, that's the Maybe thing, is there's always... White your games isn't a great idea. There's always that meta level of, no matter what, that is a decision being made by the writers. And exactly. so... Even if it is the villains doing it, 
it, it's still a conscious decision that they made to make the villains that fucking vile and to make people experience that level of bullshit. Exactly. Just because you make a bad character say it, doesn't mean it's not your actual, you know, heart. Mm. Like, I'm a writer. That is what I do for a living. False, like, straight up. If I have an opinion in a comic or in a short story or something, and I've got an idea that, like, mm, this might not be the best thing to say out loud, but it's something I actually believe in, I will have a character that nobody likes to say it. Sure. For instance, now, that doesn't mean it's 100%. Like, every time a bad character says something, that's my belief. Not at all. A lot of times, it's... I'm making fun of people, but... Namely, bad people. Right. But, like, if I, for instance... I'm trying to think of a, an unpopular opinion I have. Um... I, as a white guy, right? I don't think white people... As a tall white guy, you and I are both very tall. Sure. And for some reason in our society, taller people get promoted to higher positions of authority than non-tall people. Yeah, there is a weird, like, height uh, prejudice. Yeah. So I will have, you know, a thing like uh, Randy Newman lyrics. <laughs> like, I'll put that in, like, sure, people, good. No reason, you know. Yeah, I won't. yeah. Classic. Or I'll have the villain make short jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, especially short joke. Like my son's mom was so short. It's so. It was so short. I could look down, like hugging her. I could look down, and but my face wouldn't touch the top of her head. Wow. Like I would have to bend down to kiss her on top of the head. You've met Betty. She's taller than my ex. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> By like a good inch or two. Um, and so I would make jokes like, "Oh, I can see your feet in your driver's license photo." Oh, <laughs> you're so short. It takes you an hour to fall off the sidewalk. You know, things like that. Um, and if I'm writing a story and I wanted to include those jokes, I'd have the villain say them, or like the least likable character. Yeah, you know? and. That's just what you do as a writer. And the thing about the, like, trans pronouns and all that, absolutely feels to me like the kind of thing where they, you know, we all th I would never say that. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here texting my son's mom, like, you're so, <laughs> you're so short they foreclosed on your dollhouse. Like, stuff like that. You know, like, but I would probably, I would never say such a thing. That's me. Like, but I would. And like, if it is something that I'm like making short jokes, there is a wink and a nod when I deny it. Like, I would never make short jokes. That's beneath me. That would be beneath me. Just like your height. So, yeah, and somebody's saying, it is possible that maybe, just maybe, people don't like the fucking game, the way it presents itself and how the company treated its staff. Negativity towards the game doesn't mean it's because of fucking Gamergate. Yeah. I mean, and here's the thing, and Matt, my girlfriend, is in the games industry. She agrees with me on this one, so I know I'm not wrong. Don't fucking announce the game before it's done three years before it comes out. Just yeah, shut they announced it way too fucking early. No, I'm talking like everybody does it. Keep your fucking mouth shut. If you're working on a game and it's not even close to that, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, Don't the worst one with Don't that announce, to me, nope. Metroid nope, Prime 4. Metroid Prime yeah. 4, they announced when they fucking had their first direct for the Switch fucking yeah. three years ago and they literally had to make an apology of like yeah it's just not happening anytime soon and it's like why the fuck why'd you include it then because they didn't include anything with it it was literally just a fucking title card that said metroid yeah. prime 4 i'm not even a fan of the series but i'm sure like big fans of it are real pissed <laughs> like for me it's more like 
you don't have a guarantee that it will actually hit shelves ever. Yeah, I mean, that's so, fucking that's, Duke Nukem or uh, anything oh, like it. And when you announce the release date before it's even finished, now you're adding crunch. And crunch is the fucking cruelest thing you can do put your devs through. No, it is, Just, it is unethical nonsense. There's what no I need do, for it. Wait until the game is finished, then announce it. Like fucking uh, they did with Paper Mario. That game is done. It's like just keep your fucking mouth shut. Um Yeah, most of the good fans are in the rather late than bad game. Yeah. I would Including Nintendo with uh, Animal Crossing, it was many months later than it was meant to be. And people were still fine with that because that meant that they got a finished fucking game. Exactly. I would rather you just not announce the game until it's ready. And in fact, it was Miyamoto himself who said, uh, a late game is only late for a while, a bad game is late forever. Or exactly. a bad game, a bad game is bad forever. Yeah. Just... Don't like when you just, man, like, people will announce a game like dude just woke up from a nightmare he has like this would make a great game. We're working on a new horror game. Just shut the fuck up about it. Wait. Don't announce Even games. worse even worse are fan games. Games that are based on actual like big properties. Because often, very often, those games get shut down because they just talk about them left and right, and the people who actually own the property are like, no, you're not allowed to do that, that's our property, and they tear them down. The only ones that ever come out are the ones where they do the entire game in secrecy and don't announce it until it's out, and they're just like, it's out, go down it right now. Because then it's like, no matter what the fucking company does, it's like, it's out now, somebody has it, and it's gonna yeah. get played, at the very least. Yeah. Um, like, and I don't mind, like, you know, Plus, imagine how much better that is. Like, you're not waiting years for a game you've been, you know, hoping would eventually get made one day. Like, when they announced Paper Mario, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be, like, next year, Christmas, when that comes out. Then I saw it was my fucking birthday? Are you shitting me? Which means this they've been year? working on it for a while and waited until it was actually relevant. Yeah! I was like, thank you! Miyamoto-san, how did you know? Like, it felt like it was... It was for you, gift. Andrew. It was it for really you the whole time. Like it. it felt like it. And I'll say this. I love the Paper Mario series. I hated Super Paper Mario. Yeah. I did not hate uh, Col uh, Color Splash as much because it was my first. Mm. And do you have a Wii U? I forget. No, I, I've yeah, been you. wanting to get one so that I could play all the games that came out on it, but I'm waiting so, until they drop in price more. My parents have one, but the touchpad is broken, mm. and buying a used Wii U costs as much as buying just a gamepad. You're, yeah, you're better off replacing. Right. I'm like, why wouldn't you just buy the whole damn thing then? Like, why are you selling it that expensive? It's not going to sell at all. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I want to get one, but I can't, uh, see, I want to get one because I had one and played Color Splash on it, then I got rid of it for a regular Wii, because I just didn't, like, my girlfriend got Breath of the Wild for the Switch, we didn't need it anymore for just the one game, so, what I, I would rather have a console that can play Wii games and GameCube games, and because that opens the door to you know, more entertaining games from an era that I enjoy more. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to get my hands on a Wii U that somebody will loan me so I can just play Color Splash one more time. Right. <laughs> and, well, that's like, the thing is with like some of the bigger ones, they're probably going to port it at some point. Uh, the Paper Mario games never really got ported to anything. But, mm, right. Yeah, actually, a, that's a fair point. I feel like they might port the original at some point. They've I been think... saying that they're they're looking to port some stuff for the uh the 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 the, 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 the Switch. Um. 
PC, a fully functioning Mario 64 port has been released, but that got shut down and then apparently Nintendo is planning on re-releasing Mario 64. Okay. Uh, and so, like, my rule is, if you go more than 20 years without doing something with a property, it should be fair game for, like, people to download or make, you know. Oh, most assuredly. Like, you're doing no you're not making a profit off it. It's impossible for you to make a profit at this point because you're not making new cartridges and selling them. You're not selling them in any digital capacity. Mm -hmm. Let people play them. And yeah, now that they've removed saying, the fucking virtual, uh, virtual console, yeah, it's like they're not making money off of any of that stuff. Right, but apparently they're going to re-release it later this year or next year, and that's within that 20-year gap I you know, gave them. Mm, so okay. Uh, yeah, so fair enough, but like. If you, you're going, like, two decades and you're complaining because people are trying to find a way to play your fucking game that you're not providing... Mm-hmm. Grow the fuck up! Yeah, like, well, I'm more... Either, at that point, I'm like, I, a, I feel no shame in emulating a game that's that old that has no other yeah. way to do it. Like, Earthbound, there's no reason for them to get mad about Earthbound because they literally just won't let you have it. I mean... If you're not gonna fucking put a digital copy out for people to buy themselves, sell a Nintendo emulator, a Nintendo branded emulator that people can download to their computer, and it can work just like Steam, where they can buy all these old games, and it only works in your emulator, and let them play it that way at least. Yeah. Something. And instead of just getting mad when people try to play your, like you're actively pushing people away, like no 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 no, no, don't play our game. Fuck you. Yeah, well, at that one point, what are you accomplishing? Yeah, you're, I mean, if you plan on making money off of it, that's one thing, but you're doing nothing, you're not protecting anything. Is Earthbound on the SNES Classic? I didn't get one, so I don't know. Um, I'll let me check. They definitely SNES never, like, classic. ported any, they did, never even localized any of the sequels. Because there are three of those games. Let's see. I'm on Nintendo's website. I'm looking for the game lineup. Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, F-Zero, Super Metroid, Street Fighter 2, uh, Punch-Out, Castlevania, Donkey Kong, Mega Man X, Kirby Superstar, Final Fantasy 3, Kirby's Dream Course, Star Fox, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Legend of the Seven Stars, excellent game, precursor to Paper Mario, yes. uh, Contra 3, Secret of Mana, Earthbound. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and, uh, Super Cools and Ghosts. So yeah, it's on that, but the Super NES Mini was not a very great console. So, um, there's a virtual console release on the Wii U for Earthbound and Mother 1. Uh, yeah, the problem is not a lot of people bought a fucking Wii U, like... Yeah, that too. Um... But it yeah, was an like, abysmal failure of a console. But like, the old Paper Mario games, they're not doing anything with it. Um, and that's my thing, like... All I'm saying is if you've got a game out that you've not done anything with... Now I'm not talking a property like Mario, because clearly you're doing stuff with Mario. I'm talking mm. about a, a specific title. And I can't legally buy it from you in any capacity. I can't legally play it in any capacity unless I happen to get uh, lucky at a used game shop. Or happened to have bought it when it came out. If there's no legal way for me to play this game, and you get money out of me for it somehow, and even if it's a, you know, second-hand game, you're not getting that money anyway. Yeah. Then don't inhibit my ability to play it. Like, don't complain when I find a way to play it. Because you're not trying to make it accessible to anybody. And there's nothing... Like, why would you do that? A Wii U and the VC release was sorry, Chapter F, than the cartridge, I think. I don't know what you mean, 1 over 2. Uh, 
Well, oh, a Wii U in the Virtual Console release was cheaper than the cartridge, is what he's saying. So but it's cheaper than getting the actual, like, game and the uh, c uh, uh, console. Yeah, but, you know, my point is, if... You know what's real cheap is you go on the internet and you go to... Uh, f and you get a fucking ROM of the game. That's that's pretty damn cheap. Yeah. And if there's no like, if Nintendo, then that's my rule. Like, if I can get it on the virtual console, then I would get it because you're making it available to me. But if the only way for me to get your game is illegally or secondhand shops, then what does it matter to you which path I choose? Yeah. If I can get it legally from you somehow, then I would be happy to. Yeah, I, I mean, that's it. on level with like when the Xbox One came out and they they teased the idea that you wouldn't be able to, like any game that you put in would be hard coded to that specific system. And they immediately went back on it. But after yeah. some fit where they were just like, we can't just hit a switch and do it. And then eventually they were like, fine, we'll hit the switch and it just immediately. And it's like, wow. Looks like you guys were idiots for trying to begin with. Why? I don't know why they thought anyone would like that. That literally only helps them. Why would any user want that functionality? Yeah, and especially as somebody who, like, looking at the new PS5s that are out and the options for those. You can get the digital or the disc slot. Mm -hmm. I have a Gamefly account. That's how I play most of my games yeah. that are... Like, because I have a bad habit of buying games before I play them that suck. And I do mean suck. Um, like, I, we talked about my horrible history with pre-orders before. Yeah. So, I prefer to have Gamefly and play them that way first. So I don't waste $60 or however much I spend. Yeah, I've been lucky it. enough that the only, like, bad pre-orders I've made have been, um... Uh, fucking Kingdom Hearts 3 was pretty bad. And, uh, uh, the Wonderful 101 Remastered, which I played on a stream recently, I don't like that game. It's pretty poorly designed. You know what I would like to see from PlayStation? If I go to their website and sign into my account and all that, mm -hmm. the list of games I have. That would be cool. Like, Especially because, like, they have that data. Yeah, especially for my trophies, and I can probably pull up my trophies and get kind of that, but I would like to see just the list of the games it's shown me play. Um, but because I'm a Gamefly play gamer, I am absolutely going to get the, um, disc slot. Yeah. Like, why would I not? Um, let's see. Judgment, Star Wars Battlefront 2, okay. So this is my download queue, so I can at least look through this to see, like, my digital games. But that yeah. won't tell me my, like, physical copy games that I've had, that I pre-ordered, that sucked. Yeah, well, 1 over 2 points out a lot of the problems with the Wonderful 101 uh, when I played it is because it doesn't have the, the gamepad. And, like, some of the stuff is clearly meant for touchscreen, so it might be a little more playable in... Um, handheld mode, but like even then a lot of my problems were based on the actual like design and how they decided to convey different things Like I, I just found it very frustrating How poorly conveyed a lot of different shit was Oh, uh, you know what game we should stream together? Hmm. Like if we run out of like stuff to play we, oh, It'll be a while, but eventually probably uh, if I'm doing it daily DC Universe Online DC Universe Online. It's an MMO based off the DC Universe. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Why do I have PS2 system data for my PS3? Uh, I don't understand. I mean, it's just connected to your account, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm like trying to figure out what that would be, because the PS3 didn't have backwards compatibility. Right. Arkham City sucked. Oh my god. Not Arkham City. Arkham Knight. Oh, that was one of the worst games I've ever fucking played. 
How long? Uh, how long has that MMO been up? Oh, years. Uh, at least. When did he see you online? Uh, uh 2011. So same year. Nine years. Maddie and I, same year Maddie and I started dating. Wow, that's that's surprising. Although, like, tw uh, d Final Fantasy XI is still, like, set up, and that one's been going since I was in, like, high school. Yeah. I liked Final Fantasy XII most. Yeah? Uh, I d the, that's one of the ones that nobody ever really talks about. It's my favorite Final Fantasy. Mm. Um, man, I'm looking at, like, some of the games I had. Uh... Oh, I've got Final Fantasy VII. The original. I've also got Final Fantasy VIII, the original. Okay. Oh, I've got Armored Core! Armored Core? It was a PS1 game. PS1? Yeah. What's this? It's Big Mech Battles. Oh, uh, oh wait! Yeah, I remember playing that. My cousin and I played it together as kids. Um, I'm looking at, like, all the games I've got. They're like, there's some shit here. Let It Die. Oh my god. Let it die. Let it die seemed kind of fun. Coco played it for a bit. I think that was a free PS uh, PS Plus. Which Final Fantasy game is this? Oh, 15. Mm. Oh, that was. A, I think I pre-ordered that too. Yeah, you gave it to us, which we have not That's... even installed it yet. Yeah, it's not good. Like maybe I'm just. Um... Yeah, it's still online. Uh, DCUO. Or are you talking about Final Fantasy? That's, yeah, the DCUO. So um, I played fi er, Final Fantasy XV, and I swear to God, at one point, there was a part where I got to the end, and we're just chill, like, nothing really crazy happened. Mm -hmm. And then, out of nowhere, it's the middle of the night, it's the end of the game, and we're just like 30 years in the future. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Oh. I, yeah, like, maybe I missed something, but damn, it was awful. I have, oh. Uh, South Park the Front Tree But Hole is like one of the only good pre-orders I had, and now I can't even enjoy it because of their shitty people. Mm. Uh, uh, let's see. The Ghostbusters VR games were kind of neat, but they were free, so I can't really complain about those. Right. Wait, I've got so many, like, games for the PS3 because I kept getting the free ones, even though I didn't have a PS3 anymore. Hmm, yeah. Uh... Like, I'll, I'll get free shit all the time. Like, I don't give a shit. If it's free, I'll yeah. take it. Why not? You'll probably, you can, if it matters, like, you can take the cost of how much work it takes to, uh, make it work over having to pay actual money. Like, it's just a trade-off at that point. Yeah, and I've got enough digital PS3 stuff that if I got, like, a second-hand one, sure. Um... Did you know that there's a Kingdom Hearts 3 VR experience again? I've heard about this. What have you heard? That it's a rhythm game? Right. No. Oh, okay. Not that I played anyway. Mm. It's, um... It's a gummy shit mission, and it's just like the beginning of the game. But you, you see everything from Sora's POV. Mmm. That's, uh... So, Not like, good. in the... Like, on the bridge, in a chair? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then, like, I couldn't get past that point because it was so fucking... confusing. Right. So, I mean, I've got a lot of games for, like... PS3, my Vita, technically my PSTV. Um... 
Yeah, I've got all the shit. Like, I had a PS3. I got rid of it. I kept the Vita. I kept... I have a PS TV, which is... It allows you to play your Vita games on a TV. Oh, yeah. Or it allows you to uh, mirror... Wait, to... Um, remote play your PS4 on a different TV. So if I've got the place... If I've got the PlayStation set up in my living room, I can put the PS TV in my bedroom and play it there. I can also play my PS4 on my um, laptop or my computer, so I don't use it for that too often. I mostly just use it for uh, uh, beta games. It's cool. I don't hate it. Um, Man, do you remember when we stayed up an entire night and played all of uh, The Day of the Tentacle? Yeah, and, that game's good, we, but that was, oof, that was a long day. We streamed it, and like, by the time we got to the end, we were just like reading a walkthrough, and that was the entire commentary. It was like, yeah, you go through here next. And you go on the door. That's the thing, is that we, we got to a point where it felt like, okay, we're almost at the end, we may as well finish this. So they play. Hated. By the end, we hated that fucking game. Oh, I liked that it. Was... It's a, honestly, I feel like once we figured out the one thing, which was like the the time capsule with the the wine, like once we Cap figured that out, honestly, we could have probably kept going. Although all the stuff in the future segment was just utterly bananas. I don't remember a single thing about that game. Oh, I, I really remember don't. a ton. Oh. I, mean, I, I enjoyed I it a lot, but it's like, I enjoyed mostly the writing. The gameplay was, um, really hard to, uh, really hard to parse sometimes. Uh, I just, I don't like the style of game. The Point click. The, no, no, I call them Sierra games because there's a difference. Mm. For me, point and click is like the hidden object game where you... Like, they're extremely cheap from, like, Big Fish games. Yeah, you gotta look. Now, I will say there's one Sierra style game that I actually love. I actually love it. And it rekindled my love for my favorite uh, fantasy series. And a lot of people don't agree that this is a good fantasy series. Like, they'll say, oh, it's good, but it's not their favorite. And a lot of people are surprised when I say it's my favorite. The Wizard of Oz books... Mm, yeah. Art is so good. It's interesting because it's kind of it's fantasy, but it's also kind of Americana. Oh, it's the first American. It's the only, in my opinion, American fairy tale. And it, it real. That's what L. Frank Baum set out to make when he wrote it. He wanted to create the first American fairy tale, not an American story fairy tale. There've been American horror. There've been you know, Sleepy Hollow. There've been. Americana with uh, Mark Twain. There yeah, plenty of Horn. tall tales. Paul Bunyan. There had been Poe. So there's Gothic horror. John Henry, but, Pecos Bill. Yeah, so he wanted to write the first American fairy tale. And it's surprisingly progressive for what it was. Like, and I mean surprisingly progressive like even more progressive than some people are today um for instance and i catch a lot of shit for this but other trans people who are a fan of the series agree there is a trans character in it. Mm -hmm. and you could and there is fair argument that no 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 that character is not trans but I'm going, to, I'm going to describe the entire plot of the second book to you, and you tell me whether you agree or not. Mm -hmm. A little boy is abused emotionally and occasionally physically by a witch. He finally decides to run away from home. In doing so, he creates an ally from uh, logs and pumpkins and something called the Powder of Life, which brings the Scarecrow of Jack Pumpkinhead to life. Um, technically not a Scarecrow, because it you know, wasn't meant to be Scarecrows, and that's how they differentiate him from the Scarecrow right. uh, from the first book. He goes on a journey, and along the way makes friends with a bug, who, you know, you, uh, you, a bug, 
uh, Tin Man, who was very, by this point in the series, very, very into his appearance. And his best friend was another man who he traveled with and spent all his time with. Mm-hmm. And the Scarecrow, who was intellectual but told he was an idiot because he didn't have any brains. Um, and who was literally willing to sacrifice his own body to protect his friends and Dorothy in the first book. Um, he also befriends a sawhorse that he brings to life as a normal horse and something called a gump. Uh, he helps, so women, an uh, army of women, overthrow the Scarecrow as the leaders of Oz for vapid reasons, but youthful vapidity, vapidity, not gender-based vapidity. Sure. Namely, uh, they see the Emerald City with all of its jewels and think, why can't I have those instead? Right. And, like, why are they just being used as decoration for a city when they could be used as decoration on me? And they use uh, what I refer to as tools of their oppression because they use knitting needles and, uh, well, well, knitting needles as their weapons uh, to overthrow the city because they don't want to sit at home knitting all day long. They don't want to be housewives. And so, along the journey, everyone's trying to find the true princess of Oz because everyone will agree to let her run the city, not the army, and not the scarecrow. Uh, So they're trying to find the real princess, and it turns out, when the wizard first came to Oz, he kidnapped the princess and took her to a witch. So they're trying to figure out, well, which witch was this? And it turns out that the little boy, Tip, is the long-lost princess. And finally, you know, another witch is able to turn him back into a girl. Mm. And he's able to find acceptance and a home. So you could argue, well, he didn't choose that, blah, blah, blah. But think about it from a trans perspective. You've got someone who was told their whole life, you're this, you're this, you're this, abused because they, you know, weren't, not, weren't that. No, it wasn't that, or they didn't know they weren't that, but she wasn't. And then, uh, so, they find, they built, they built, or they built their own family. They, you know, created their own safe place to be and they found acceptance a home and people who cared about them and I'm sorry but like that just feels way too (laughs) on point for the trans experience in a lot of cases um nobody ever questions the fact that they have a female leader and questions her ability to lead and she's also arguably a lesbian like very arguably, and I'm talking like it's very, where there's a lot of smoke in that fire, you know. Uh, with Dorothy, Dorothy and the Princess Ozma are heavily implied to be a couple. Um, the fir- and one of the first things Dorothy does when meeting another female character in the first book is kiss her and refer to her as a darling. The first thing she thinks when she sees Ozma in the third book for the very first time is that this is someone she could grow to love very quickly. Um, they move in together. They, uh, Ozma makes Dorothy a princess of Oz. Like, it, there's a lot of smoke in that fire. You know, there's just a lot of evidence. And like, again, no one ever questions the fact that that happens. Like, the people are just like, yeah, cool, sure. And, you know, like, that's the thing. Like, all of that is so much. All the men in Oz are idiots, by the way, with the exception of, like, the Scarecrow and Tin Man. Um, it, it, it's crazy, like, how. Like, compared to today. Motherfucker! God damn it! 
Did you fall off again? Because I just saw you transfer to the fireplace. Fucking snowball thing. Like, this is the only way to do it. As far as I can tell. <laughs> and it's just know. that those fucking hands. Well, that's the thing is, you can only go through that one fucking gap up there. Because you can't jump high enough to get up the fucking steps, and you can't fucking, uh... There, there's no other warp pad close enough to that that you won't melt before you get there. Trump is sharing pictures from the rally, all heavily cropped to make it look like the place is full. <laughs> and he said the silent majority is stronger than ever, hashtag MAGA. And somebody said, it's silenter than ever, too. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know... Oh, okay, I can just fucking destroy those. I figured since I'm a snowball, and whatever. Somebody's talking about that guy that says, Oh, get the cop to take care of me. Uh, saying, Jason's tweet accidentally proves an important, horrible truth. Terrified white people expect everything they don't like to be ruthlessly murdered by the police. Mm -hmm. But, like, the Wizard of Oz books are super fucking progressive. Um... By the way, one, I get your reference, and I appreciate that. Um, I feel like... So, here's the thing about Homestuck. I tried. Like, I heard about it very, very early on. So, I was like, oh, I like webcomics, I'll check it out. And I gave it a shot up until, like, a certain point, and I was just like... I don't think I get it. I don't Fair. think... Like, and I gave it, like, a good year or two of my life, and it got to a point where I'm like, I don't think this guy has a plan for this. Like, Well, yeah, no, he definitely was, there wasn't much of a plan to begin with, and in fact, that was part of the appeal, because early on, um, the idea was that people would submit things, that's why it's done in the form of a video game like that, like, you would submit what you wanted the character to do, and he'd pick the one he liked the best. I just, I didn't, I never liked it. Like, I tried for like, because I got in like before the actual game in the game got started. Like, the, the framing structure. I got into it before that. And I tried. I tried and tried at, for like a year and a half. Like, I got pretty deep into it. Oh, well, I that's think... the thing. It, you didn't even get to the part where it actually starts, which is about, like, Act oh, no, 4. No, no, I did. No? I did. I did. I got to, like, the goblin people. With the trolls. The Zod yeah, the trolls. I got, like, well deep into that. And then it's just like, I felt like I had to be on drugs to get it. Like, because it, I just couldn't stand it. Yeah, I understand. It's, it's kind of an important part of, like, just the internet at this point, because it's done such huge things that no other webcomic was able to, and that's mainly because it was ambitious enough to be as multimedia as it is. Like, half of it is in the music and in the animations that they would do every, every few, like, months to years. It's technically over now, but, like... They, I'm pretty sure they've made it into a sequel thing. They keep saying it's over, but it's not really over. It's it's confusing. So it came out, let's see, in 2009? Yep. And ended in 2016? Ended. It's still, wiki, it's still going. According to Wiki. Yeah. According to Wiki. Um, and I went through, like... <sighs> I'm trying to think where I gave up on it. <sighs> I can't remember. But it just got to a point where I was like, you know, I don't like it. I don't, I don't. <sighs> I think I went from like, oh, late oh nine. To like, the thing is, I didn't get very. I, I think I went. Okay, I guess the the current thing that's happening is not actually be being written by the same guy. The thing is, while he didn't exactly plan things out, he took the time to be really meticulous and make sure everything folds back onto itself. So everything that happens does become important later, and it actually does feel pretty satisfying. 
but it is some deep lore that gets really confusing and really chaotic. So I can understand, like, if you don't have the energy to, like, keep up with all of it... I've only read up through, like, Act 3. I just barely started Act 4 when the trolls come in, and at that point, my, my issue was just that, like, I have such a terrible memory for names, and already every character has a, a pester chum name in their chat logs, their own name, and a nickname, and I just, I, I couldn't keep up with it. Like, I acted, I, I'll probably go back to it at some point, but, like, I just, it, 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 it's really dense, and it's really difficult for me to keep, keep up with it, um, as it goes. But I've been meaning to, I've been meaning to go back to it at some point. How many jiggies have I got in here? I'm really annoyed that there's not, like, a... Nice. Wait, I pulled up the website, there's no, like, archive to just skip ahead. And I hate that. Well, I fucking hate that. It makes you play it, like, the oh, full thing. And, like, I don't like, I didn't like it. It was just not funny. It just, it wasn't entertaining. It wasn't... Uh, so Trump said during the rally, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down. To which one person says he doesn't realize this is damning. To which Cody Johnson says he doesn't care that it's damning. Yep. Because he knows it's not actually damning because there will be no consequences. Yeah, no, that's the thing is that it doesn't matter what he fucking says. He has faced no consequences. He was fucking impeached and wasn't removed from office because they wanted to politicize it outside of the fact that he fucking should have been removed. He realizes that he's untouchable at this point. The only way to, that he can be stopped is if he is removed from office in an election. And even if that happens, he's going to leave kicking and screaming. Oh, yeah. It's in the train. Okay, I already did that. Back to the uh, icy side. Uh, yep, I did that. Got the fish. So right. apparently, Brad Parscale, Trump's campaign manager, mm -hmm. organized the rally, and a bunch of cake pop stands and TikTok teens bought tickets with no intention of showing up. Mm. That's why the arena is so fucking empty. He even built an outdoor stage for Trump to give another speech to the overflow crowd. Oh no. Of which there, of which there was none. Uh, got him. Okay, I got that one. It was a part of the icy side, but only accessible. Snooze pack ability. Fuck, how do I find that? Snooze pack. I'm glad to see the K-pop students are finally doing something good with their power. I agree, one over two. Fucking absolutely. Grunty Industries collectibles. Let's see. Like, which rapist do you want to vote for this year? Pick your side. The one who's promised that his uh, presidency will be the campaign of no change, or the one who's openly fascist. Enjoy! Like... Bottom floor of the waste disposal plant... D.L. Hughley passed out on stage, got tested for COVID, and was positive. Not one person in that damn club seemed to be wearing a mask. So basically, they all got exposed. Yep. Yeah, no, that's Apparently, the thing. That was the thing recently, is there was a group of 16 friends who went to a bar for a birthday. The bar was jam-packed, not a single person wearing a mask. All 16 of those people have tested positive. No, the entire shit. group. It's like, guys, it's not fucking negotiable. Wear the mask. If it, literally, if you think you don't need it, you're an idiot and you need to listen better. Like, genuinely, at this point, there's no excuse. You are only doing it if you are spiteful, evil, or hey, dumb. Hey, let's not get political here. The mask is a very personal issue, and people should make their decision based off what they feel is right for them. And if you ever think I actually believe that shit, please pop two in the 
back of my goddamn head. Jesus. Where like, if I ever say that unironically, shoot me. Because I am a skinwalker. Yeah. Fucking. God. Damn it. Oh, it just pisses me off so much. Because this. The thing is, the longer they do that shit, the longer this is gonna be. The pandemic will end eventually. But the longer you guys. People fucking ignore science and the well, reality not. of what they gotta do, the longer this shit is gonna last. It's part the media's fault here. Because they printed headlines featuring interviews with Dr. Fauci saying there will there isn't a second wave coming. But they cut off the rest of his fucking sentence, which was because we're still not out of the first wave yet. Yeah, we are deep in the first wave still. It's only gonna be worse. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Hold on, I gotta, gotta do the thing. Or, er, whoop, actually, I think I gotta do the thing here. Alright, I need this shit. I gotta go to Pterodactyl Land. Is this the spot? Is this it? Is there a ladder back up? I need a ladder. I need a way back up there. Is that a ladder? Ah, fuck, this level's so dark. Ah, shit. Oh, I haven't even been in this area. That's wild. How the fuck do I get back up? I gotta get up there so I can learn this shit so that I can do the other two, like, jiggies. Oh, no way. Ah, fuck it. God damn, god damn. God damn, I said god damn. Whoa, that's crazy. Sincerely. You're really feeling me on this one. Sometimes, sometimes I feel your sarcasms are, uh, too deep. That's wild, this one. What do I do with that? What do I... Hold on, I think I got it. Yep. Nope. I gotta do the good boyfriend thing and let my girlfriend have the last temporary Fuck. Oreo. Fuck. Ah, shit. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they do sound delicious. I'll be honest, I've never been a huge fan of tempura. Something about it just feels... I it... prefer tempura over... So there's different kinds of chicken nugget, right? Yeah. There's beer battered, which is like the McDonald's style, that smooth uh, breading. Right. There's the, like, crumbly, crummy kind, where you pick it up and there's just, like, bread dust all over it, yeah. like Burger Kings. Yeah, or, the, like, the Tyson frozen ones. Yeah. And then there's, like, that weird one that's, like, the restaurant tried frying food for the first time that night. Mm, yeah. And it's kind of, like, in the middle between the two. Right. I... Love the smooth spreading. Like it's just something I like about it. I I've always preferred it. Um, uh, it's my favorite like way of having that. It's just better. Uh, I don't I don't. This is the same reason I don't like uh, fancy pizza. I like. Like, if it's, well, we've baked this one in a wood-fired oven, and with a, you know, pizza meal and all, like, I don't want it there. Because it's gonna be dusty, and it's gonna be kind of nails on a chalkboard for me. Hmm. <laughs> like, um, I get the same kind of negative feeling from that that I get from, uh, somebody, like, rubbing styrofoam together. It's a texture thing that I can't stand. Okay. Um... It, 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 I can eat it, but I have to wear like a glove. I can't right. touch it. Um, and it's always like 
you could tell it's good because it's got these blackened spots on the bottom. And I'm like, no, that's called burning your fucking food. Like, that's not good. Like, Louisiana, we blacken our chicken. No, you can't fucking cook is what you mean to say. Like, fucking stop it. Like, there's cases where, like, if properly done, blackened food can be good. But right. too often, nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. They hear black and they're like, ah, oh, well, I'm just gonna leave it in at 400 for an hour. Yeah, doesn't need, to, don't need to try. Right, and so I, if I'm getting pizza, I want the Santes, I want Hungry Howie's, Pizza Hut, or Little Caesars. That's it. That's the style I like. Little Caesars, I will, I will enjoy just because it's the cheapest and quickest. And it's shocking. And it's not any, it's not really that much worse, or like than like Pizza Hut or Domino's. Like, it's it's right. about on par. And now that they do the fucking uh, the like um, the the stuffed crust, it's like why even bother with Pizza Hut? Yeah, I like Pizza Hut because it's just nostalgic. Uh, Domino's can go fuck itself. Like, the only play place that's better than is, uh, <laughs> Papa John's. Um, I will not eat Papa John's. You notice, you notice their ad campaign trying to be slick lately by putting Shaq in all their commercials. Like, please forget the fact that our founder and the guy who was in charge of the company until very recently was a huge racist who said the n-word in the middle of a conference call yeah well look, i mean he look, was even addressing look, someone else's racism and he didn't see a problem with him saying that and it's like bud come and on. like the thing is they decided to you know address this problem by getting literally the biggest blackest guy they could get a hold of as their like the face of the company like no, we see what you were doing. Yeah, nice try, guys. It's not not as slick as you thought it was. You literally tried to get a black billboard. Like, no. Not working. People have gotten pissed at Shaq over it, too. And it's like, I feel like he's... I'm not mad at him. Well, that's I the thing, yeah. It's like, he, he doesn't deserve the hate, because he's just fucking being a part of something that he probably liked a lot since his well, whole so life. Well, so Shaq has said in the past that he will not promote something he doesn't use or like. Sure. And that's why he's not been on a box of Wheaties. And they said, you know, why weren't you on a box of Wheaties? Because I don't like Wheaties. Yeah. And so, like, he said in the commercial state, you know, he's been on the board of directors for Papa John's. He's got his own Papa John's franchise. You know, he genuinely likes the product and has been a part of the thing for a long time. The problem for me is, though, that, like, why didn't y'all address that before? Why didn't y'all point this out previously? Why is it now that you've got outed as the company for racists and all the racists are, like, buying your pizza by the box full that you now point out, Oh, we got Shaq! No, that is not. No, we see what you're doing. Yeah, no, it's not. It's it's not clever. It's, it's not, not appropriate. Ethical. It's not appropriate. Yeah, it's not it's cool. Not, to be certain. Like, that, that is just like uh, that is the advertising equivalent of kind of life, friend. Basically, yeah, they're just like, yeah, no, we got this guy, right? So we can't be racist. It's like, eh. I, I wish I lived within walking distance. I don't know where the closest Little Caesars to here is. Oh, I live like, in walking distance of a Little Caesars. It's, uh, I don't go very often because I'm the only one who's going to be eating it. Corey can't handle it and Coco doesn't like it. Wear a mask because thou shalt not COVID thy neighbor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Andy Levy. That's a good one. All right, that I'm gonna get this. I'm getting this last jiggy, and then I'm gonna call it a night. I just gotta get to the other side of this, this stomping plane thing. If your core message is that your opponent has dementia, it's probably not a good idea to tell 12 minute stories to make you sound like a man who escaped from a retirement home. Mm-hmm. 
uh, rap yeah, protest. I, neither. Uh, th that's the thing. It's between two dudes who are way too old, should have retired ages ago. Neither of them can, like, string a fucking sentence together. Both are real fucking disrespectful. Like, Joe Biden is at least vaguely more respectful, but it's not a high bar when you're up against fucking Trump. Are you talking about the guy who bragged about working with racists? Listen, I'm just... I'm trying, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to consolidate the fact that I'm gonna have to vote for Joe Biden. Thanks, Democrats. The, the racist? The, or the rapist, I mean? Yeah, no, what? I... I know, but it's still... It's still... The, the be one best who said, if you have. vote for me, nothing will fundamentally change? Like, I, I hate it. This is the worst timeline. I just, I hate it. No, it's, that's the thing. He's a terrible person, but he's still the only decent choice. So, um, Brad Parscale tweets, Radical protesters fueled by a week of apocalyptic media coverage interfered with supporters of the rally. They even blocked access to the metal detectors, preventing people from entering. Thanks to the thousands who made it anyway. Uh, -huh. show, show us footage. Show us photos, bud. Well, he linked to an article from the Washington Times that, like, snarked him even in that by anti-Trump protesters interfere with the president's rally. <laughs> like, they fucking snark him with the word interfere. Mm -hmm. And, like, putting it in quotes. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, even the, the thing, like, no. Uh, Media, re media reports said fights occurred outside the arena where Trump held this one his main rally indoors. But the president and vice president also initially planned to speak to supporters outdoors who couldn't get in. But areas outside the arena appeared to be sparsely populated about an hour before the arrival. If the first rally since March, uh, when virus brought a suspension of campaigning, uh, Trump is rallying in Tulsa with thousands of energetic supporters, blah, 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 but, like basically like... And that didn't really happen. Like, it had a little bit, but not to the level that it would hold anybody up. Yeah. Like, no, you're a fucking idiot is basically what they're getting at here. And yeah. Okay. All right. That's it for tonight. I d I've, I've gotten... Let's see. I have 63. I got to get seven more jiggies and then do the final battle. And then I might do another stream after that where I get go through and do the other stuff. Might do the Canary Mary final thing as a whole stream, but I, I'm not giving any guarantee they'll be able to do it, because it is nigh impossible. Like, even speedrunners have trouble with that, so... Man, even, the, like, people are starting out people in the gaming industry now. Mmm... I mean, I'm, That's... I'm glad they don't get to keep it secret, but... Damn, dude. So much, so much to process. Somebody shared a picture of their cat, like, being a little asshole, saying, But by all means, let's abolish the police. We'd love to see a social worker take care of this one. Mm. I love that they're mocking the shit out of this guy. Yeah, because he's an idiot. Same as how they mocked the 30 to 40 boars. Idiot. <sighs> uh, Anderson police ban use of chokeholds. A little while later. Indian officers on leave for chokehold use days after neck restraint ban. Mm. They don't care about the law. They're cops. The yeah. law doesn't matter. No, they're like, gonna they're gonna circumvent it no matter what. And like, let's Well no, I mean just in general. Like, Andrew... there's a clip from The Simpsons that is one hundred percent spot on accurate. And that is uh Chief Wiggum uh resting Marge after she had tried to get help from the cops. And he, she says, I thought you said you were powerless. And he replies, powerless to help you, not punish you. Mm-hmm. All right, Andrew. We're going to bring it back up for one last thing. Give me one joke, any joke, your funniest joke right now to finish what this did, all off with. What did the judge say when the scum walked into the court? What did he say? Voter in the court. Hey, but a Good night, everybody. I got a good. I, I got a joke. Okay. A joke. Okay. One. One more. This one's like one of those story jokes. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. <sighs> a man goes into a bar. Mm hmm. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. 
I won't okay. tell this joke. Okay. I, I just realized, like it's a joke I used to like when I was 13, and I ran it through my head. I was like, oh, that one's a, that one might be offensive. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Yeah. Like it was, I haven't enjoyed the joke since then. I was like, oh wait, there's that one. And I, like, as I got to it, I was like, hmm. Mm, no, that one's an ableist joke. Never well, mind. I'm I'm glad you stopped yourself ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, I got one then. <clears throat> uh, a man is in in a in a place where you can drink outside of a bar, say a, a pub in England, and he's he's having a pint and he's sitting there, and a, a nun walks by and she stops and she gives him the right act about oh the evils of alcohol and that's the devil's devil's brew and eventually he's like have you do you even know what alcohol is like have you ever tried it and she said of, of course not i never would and he's like okay how about this i will buy you a drink if you will give me the opportunity of seeing you have alcohol for the first time she said i they can't i can't be seen drinking i'm a nun i'm in my habit here's what you can do go do it and put it into a teacup so that everyone will think it's tea and he says okay he goes into the bar, he goes to the bartender, he's like, all right, I'd like another pint, and I'd like a shot of whiskey, but um, this might be weird, but can you put it in a teacup? And the bartender goes, is that fucking nun again? <laughs> I've got a nun one. Okay, okay, last one, then we're gonna wrap last it up. Last one. So, guy uh, robs a store. You know, snatches like a candy bar, a lot of money, and, uh, you know, soda. And uh, the, the Catholics use wine. Any other alcohol is considered uh, a sin. Since one asked. Mm. So, this guy robs the store. Mm -hmm. And decides he's going to ditch his clothing so that he can switch and, you know get away without matching the description anymore. Alright. He's changing in uh you know, courtyard and all of a sudden he hears people coming, so mid mid change, butt naked, he jumps into a nearby bush. And these nuns come walking by, three of them, and they just see his junk hanging out, and being nuns they've never seen it before. So they for some reason joke logic presume that this is some kind of weird vending machine. So the first one tosses a quarter in, pulls on it, and he drops the candy bar. The second one tosses a coin in, pulls on it, and gets the soda. They ask the third one, what did you get? And she said, hand lotion. <laughs> <laughs> no it, jokes. Do you perfect. have any other I have a lot of Catholic jokes, but... Oh, I, uh, I have quite a few other nun jokes, for sure. I, I was never really religious as a kid, but, uh... We gotta wrap this up. Say, say, think, say, think up some good jokes for next stream, though. Well, I was gonna say, I have a lot of Catholic jokes, but none are fun. <laughs> Woo! Good. Good. Alright. Thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you to anyone who watch it, watched in the past. Thank you to anyone who watches in the future on the past broadcast tab or on the archive, which is on the browser version, Iggy Kid Twitch Archives. Check out the personal YouTube, which you can see there or below. The Twitter, where I Twitter where I tweet out when I'm going to be going live. Um, check out the schedule, which is mainly just going to show when we change games and such. Generally, I'm just going to keep it 9 to 11 or so Eastern Daylight Time for the foreseeable future daily. And, um, yeah, please follow if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Gotta get up to that 50 for the affiliate. But again, thank you all for watching. Andrew, you have any last things to say? Um, be good to each other. Black Lives Matter, fuck Trump, and love that Danhausen. Likewise, likewise on every count. Good night, everybody.